What is up YouTube? I hope you're all having a very good day today. If you're new to this channel, then welcome around here. My name is Ben and on this channel, we talk all about self-publishing. So if that's going to be interesting to you, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Of course, if you're a returning viewer, then welcome back around here. In today's video, I'm excited to be talking about how we can make a crossword puzzle book using only free software. And I'll be showing you a really quick method of how to make this crossword puzzle book. So, so let's get into it. Of course, Firstly, let's talk about why we might want to make a crossword puzzle book. Of course, we're here on Amazon right now. This is amazon.com and I've just typed in crossword here at the top in books. And if I just scroll down, we can see that crossword as a niche is just a generally good niche here on Amazon. There's no denying it. Of course, if you ignore these sponsored books here at the top, if we just scroll down, we start to see clear four figure BSRs for most of the books near the top. So we've got these two as an example, this one at 852 as a bestseller. If we continue to scroll down, we have this really nice one here at 2,275. This is independently published and it was only made around two months ago from making this video. So, you know, new publishers are coming in to the crossword niche and they are doing well. We can continue to scroll down. Again, we've got this one independently published November, 2022 there, independently published November 2022 and the list just keeps on going we've got some great BSRs there and fairly recently published we can also see this as well on bookbeam so basically bookbeam is our niche and keyword research tool of choice this is a paid service and if you do want to give it a shot the link for it is in the description below you get 50% off your first month if you use the code benchinick 50 but basically what we can do is type in crossword for the keyword in the title there we're going to put the best sizes rank between 1 to 100,000 and we're going to put the age um up to three months old. So what this is going to do is show us all the books that have been published on Amazon with less than 100,000 BSR and only up to three months old. So they've been published around December 2022 or onwards. And what we do is if we press find books, we can see that it's got a decent average BSR, 18,000, just the keyword crossword. And if we scroll down, we can see again, that really good book hitting the top there. But what's very, very interesting to me is the fact that one of the better ranked ones here, 8,375, making 828 sales a month on average with 1,500 in royalties, has only got a 3.4 star. So immediately that tells me that so if you're able to create a similar book to this one here, for example, but kind of correct some of the mistakes that this one has made, maybe look at the reviews and see what people don't like about this book, then you could probably come in and potentially take quite a few of the sales from this book here. So very interesting stuff. This is all revealed here on Bookbeam. We can continue to scroll down and we can see a whole plethora of books doing particularly well in the crossword niche. Of course, we don't just have this niche finder and bookbeam, we have this keyword research tool as well, which will give us all the keywords and some information about them. So a really great tool if you are particularly interested, not essential for making this crossword book, but definitely helpful. So with that being said, now we know why we're making a crossword book, let's get into how we can actually make this crossword book using only free software. So to make the crossword puzzle book, what we're going to do is go onto a graphic design software called Canva. This is on, to get there, all you need to do is search it up on Google. It's completely free software. And basically what it's going to allow us to do is make a crossword book. So the first thing that we want to do here is go on to create a design in the top right hand corner. And we're just going to go to custom size down there where my face is. And I'm going to make this 8.5 by 11 inches. So this is going to be the biggest book available here on Amazon. And basically what will show up is a canvas that looks like this. We can pretty much do anything with it and it's mostly, and so what this is, is a drag and drop interface. And, and what we want to do is create a template for us to repeat crossword pages so that we have some sort of book. So what we want to first do is put a grid onto our canvas. So we're going to get this square grid after we type in grid on the elements tab here on the left. And what we're going to do is just drag this until we have a square shape. Now I'm just going to fiddle around with this until both the height and the width say six. And I'm just going to drag it to the center and you'll know it's in the center when you see a thick line like that, for example, come down the page as you're dragging it. So this is now in the center of our canvas here. And this is going to be the placeholder for where we drop our crossword onto when we come to generate it. So we've got that sorted. And now what we want to do as well is just add some text. Now we're going to create two headings. So this one here on the left hand side, and I'm going to put this 
at around size 80. I'm just going to change the font up as well. And we're going to title this one across. So this is going to be for all the crossword clues that go across. And we're going to put that on the left hand side. We're going to copy and paste this text box here as well. Control C and Control V. And we're just going to put this on the right hand side. And we're going to put this one as down. Now, these are going to be the two headings for our clues. And what we're also going to do is just copy and paste that. And I'm just going to drag this one below and I'm just going to take it off bold. And we're going to leave this one here as a placeholder for all the clues to go in. So what this is going to look like at the very end is a numbered list like this. For example, I'm just going to type in some random letters, but it'll be numbers kind of like this. Uh, and of course, you'll see on the crossword puzzle the numbers where the grid is so this is the first step now we've got something that looks like this we're ready to pretty much drag and drop a crossword puzzle onto our placeholder here so now what we're going to do is go into a website called crossword labs so we're just going to go on another tab and we're going to type that in in the search bar crosswordlabs.com and what we've got is an interface that looks a bit like this so this is going to be our crossword generator this is completely this site here allows for commercial use as well. It's in the about section and I have checked it before. Um, can I sell my crossword or use it for commercial purposes? And the answer is yes. So this website is clear for commercial use. So what we're going to do here is, so all we need to do now is give this website an answer and some crossword clues. Now, before the turn of chat GPT, this was going to be a lot, lot harder because you had to come up with the questions yourselves and come with a respective answer to put them all into here. But now with chat GPT, it's so much easier to create this crossword puzzle book since chat GPT can give us the perfect clues for a crossword book as well as the answer for it. So what we need to do here in chat GPT, again, this is a free tool that you can just search up online. The links for everything will be in the description below. So for the crossword generator and for ChatGPT, it will be down below. Um, and so what we want to do in ChatGPT is just go to the text box down here. And of course, we will just want to ask it to give us some crossword clues and some answers. But if we go back onto our crossword generator here, basically we need it in a format such that the answer is first a space and then the clue. So what we want to do in ChatGPT if, is to give it a prompt like this. So we've prompted ChatGPT to list 20 crossword answers, a space without the hyphen followed by a clue. And what ChatGPT does is gives us 20 answers followed by a clue to go along with it. It still wants the hyphens for some reason, but I've just checked it in the crossword generator and it still works fine. So what we're going to do at this point is literally just copy what ChatGPT has given us. Of course, if we're being really diligent, we want to check that all the answers are correct since ChatGPT does have a tendency to give a few incorrect answers here and there. So you just want to make sure that everything does seem to check out. But once it does, we want to copy it and paste it straight straight into this box here on the on the crossword generator and what we'll see is a preview of what our crossword will look like down here what we want to do is then press save and finish and once once you've pressed that what you want to do is press share up here and so what you want to do is when you get onto this page, you want to click on the PNG file there. And what it should do is save it straight onto the tab down here if you're on Google Chrome. Now, once we do have that PNG, we're going to go back straight onto Canva. We're going to drag this downloaded file and just put it straight into our Canva document. Once that loads in, what you'll see is if you drag it over the grid that we created earlier, it should put itself straight into that placeholder. Now, it's not going to be perfect and you will need to adjust it slightly. So in this case, you do need to make it a little bit longer, which means just pulling it out until all the crossword is visible and just moving it around so that it fits within the margins of your book. But once you've done that, you've got yourself a crossword puzzle with the accompanying numbers. Now, all we need to do is put the clues into the across and down bit. And this is where we go back onto our crossword generator. Before we do that, just want, we want to press show answers and save the answers for this particular crossword to put at the back of our book as well. We press update there. And what we want to do is again, save that as a PNG and we want to use this. And now we've got the answers for that particular crossword. So once it comes to making the book, we can put these answers at the back of the book for the particular crossword puzzles. So, so you want to remember to do that as you're generating the crossword puzzles. Of course, save the crossword without the 
letters in them and also save them with the letters in it. And to do that, you just press show answers here, press the word update and again, go on to PNG. And as you click on PNG, it should save it in the bar down here. So once you've done that, we're just going to press close here and we're just going to copy and paste what they've given us for across and down. So again, copy, go back onto Canva and go to our placeholder text that we've put here and we're just going to paste it and do a little bit of formatting here just to make sure everything again fits in the margins of our book. Maybe you need to reduce the font a little bit here so that everything fits in. And so what I've basically done here is just made the font a little bit smaller and just aligned everything to the left and just put that across there, moved it around until everything, until that title was center to the clues down here. And we're going to do exactly the same for this side as well. And so now we've done both sides. This is the final result of our crossword page. We've got this crossword puzzle positioned up here. We've got across clues and down clues and the numbers on the clues correspond to the numbers in the grids there. So everything is looking dandy. And of course you can repeat this process now using this first page that you have made as a template. So all you're gonna do is press duplicate page at the top here. And what you'll see is you've already got the template. All you need to do is update the clues for a cross and down as you create new crossword puzzles. And of course you just drag and drop the new crosswords onto the crossword up here. We would just, to create a new crossword, literally, we're just going to go onto ChatGPT and we can ask ChatGPT the exact same question and it should give us a fresh set of answers with clues. So we've asked the same question and indeed we've got a different set of words. It starts with tulip, loyal, zesty, as you can see, completely different from the first set of 20. So again, we're just going to grab everything that we've got given from ChatGPT and we're just going to put it into this crossword labs. We're just gonna go back and press make a crossword and we're just gonna paste everything into the same box here. So this is how you create a crossword puzzle book in a short amount of time using just free software. Very, very finely as well. I do wanna show you at the very back of the book where we do put the answers. What I tend to do is literally, I just put the, uh, and what I tend to do is just put four answers on the same page. So for example, if we get the first one as our reference, we're just going to drag this and we're just going to put it in the top left hand corner, kind of to something like this size. So of course, if you can imagine, this is an eight by five inch book. So it's real size will be something like this. This should be clearly visible, the letters inside that answer page. And what we're going to do is just copy and paste this as our template for all the other answers as well. You might need to edit them as you make more crossword puzzles, but things, you might need to edit them a little bit as you make more crossword puzzles. But generally speaking, it will look something like this, where there'll be four answers on one page at the back of your book. Of course, you'll need to number the puzzles as well. So what I tend to do is I will put a number next to the puzzle. So in this case, this is gonna be puzzle number one. It's normally in the top left-hand corner where I number it like that. And number two will be this one here and so on and so forth. And of course, and the answer page, people can see which puzzle they are looking at. So this is kind of like the final touch that I do for this crossword puzzle book. And you just need to go through with it and do it for however many crosswords you want in your puzzle book. Of course, you can niche your crossword down too. So you can go into ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT for 20 difficult, ask ChatGPT for 20 difficult clues. Um, so the prompt might be list 20 crossword answers, a space followed by a difficult clue. And as you can see, ChatGPT has given us much harder answers here, abscond, belligerent, circumlocution. Uh, and if you compare it to the answers we had before, that is a massive step up. Of course, you can tailor it to themes as well. So if you have a theme in mind for your crossword puzzle. So for example, if you wanted to make one which was sports themes, you could literally ask that same question to ChatGPT. So we asked ChatGPT, list 20 sports themes, crossword answers, space, followed by a difficult clue. And this is what ChatGPT has given us. Everything here is sports themes. So ChatGPT is very, very useful in that case. You can tailor it however you like.
But hopefully this video has demonstrated to you just how easy it is to create a crossword puzzle book. The links for everything, again, are going to be in the descriptions down below so you can get started straight away after watching this video. If you do have any questions on anything whatsoever, feel free to ask them down below and I'll try and get back to you in the comments. But otherwise, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to smash that like button. And until next time, have a great day.